welcome back to week four of ocean exploration. Today I'm in Narragansett Beach, the other side of Narrow River, and I'm going to teach you about the layers of the ocean. There's four layers of the ocean. You've got the sunlight zone, which you can see right here. You've got the twilight zone. You've got the midnight zone, and you've got the abyss. The abyss has creepy, crawly creatures, even the kind with the light on their Not the... So far we've learned that the ocean covers 70% of the Earth's surface. We learned that the ocean's salty and there are two tides a day. But did you know that we've only explored 5% of the ocean? More people have been into space than have viewed the deep, deep ocean. The ocean is split into layers, the sunlight zone, the twilight zone, the midnight zone, and the abyss. Only three people have been to the abyss where you see creatures with lights on their heads and all sorts of things we haven't really been able to see in real life. Most of the creatures you're familiar with are in the sunlight zone, the part of the ocean you can swim in. So today we're gonna take a look at a horseshoe crab, one of the creatures you might find in the sunlight zone. A horseshoe crab is a bottom dwelling creature and it's not actually a crab at all. It's in the arachnid family, just like spiders. Horseshoe crabs mainly live in coastal areas and river estuaries. This horseshoe crab was found at Narrow River in Narragansett. Horseshoe crabs got their name because their backs look a little bit like a horse's shoe. Check out these two horseshoe crabs as we pull them up onto the sand. A horseshoe crab has a dome-shaped exoskeleton and four eyes. It has 12 legs and a set of pinchers. It also has a long spiky tail, but the tail is not used as a weapon. It's used to steer and to flip itself over if needed. Horseshoe crabs are called living fossils because they are over 200 million years old. The next zone of the ocean is the twilight zone. There's no light down there, so it's hard for humans to see. There's also no plants because there is no sunlight for photosynthesis to occur. In order to travel to these layers, you see people scuba diving. These scuba divers here were found off the coast of Maine. Two creatures you can find in the twilight zone are cuttlefish and hatchetfish. They both have big eyes so they can see in the darkness. The third layer of the ocean is called the midnight zone. It's so deep and so dark, there is no sunlight at all. Anglerfish live in the midnight zone. They have a bioluminescent light on their bodies. Do you remember the scene from Finding Nemo? The last of the four ocean zones is my favorite zone. It's called the abyss. The temperatures in the abyss are nearly freezing cold. There is absolutely no sunlight. We're about 5,000 meters deep. Some of the most amazing creatures live down there, and they have to live off of the bacteria that they get from the surface between the midnight zone and the abyss. In this zone, you can find creatures like gulper eel, tripod fish, dumbo octopus, and more. I hope you enjoyed traveling through the four layers of the ocean with me. This week's playlist focuses in on each of the layers a little more, so make sure to fill it out. You can also draw a picture of your favorite creature of the abyss and write down some facts for me. Next week, we're going to focus on a problem the ocean is having. It's called pollution. What can we do to help? Stay tuned next week to find out how we can make an impact on our beautiful ocean.